You look sober. Only for you, your royal highness, he says with an elaborate mock bow. You've got to be joking. Alex, it's good to see you. Sober? He's pleased to hear a little bit of ice in Henry's voice, finally done pretending. You're too kind, says Henry. He swings one long leg over and dismounts from his horse gracefully, removing his glove and extending a hand to Alex. A well-dressed stable hand basically springs up out of the ground to whisk the horse away by the reins. Should we do this? Alex has probably never hated anything more. This is idiotic, Alex says, grasping Henry's hand. The skin is soft, probably exfoliated, and moisturized daily by some royal manicurist. There's a royal photographer right on the other side of the fence, so he smiles winningly and says through his teeth, let's get this over with. Are we finished here? Yes, Your Royal Highness. I'd rather be waterboarded, Henry says, smiling back. The camera snaps nearby. His eyes are big and soft and blue, and he desperately needs to be punched in one of them. Your country could probably arrange that. Alex throws his head back and laughs handsomely, loud and false. Go fuck yourself. Hardly enough time, Henry says. He releases Alex's hand as Sean enters. Your Highness, Sean greets Henry with a nod. Alex makes a concentrated effort not to roll his eyes. The photographer should have what he needs, so if you're ready, the car is waiting. Henry turns to him and smiles again is unreadable. Shall we? That was an excerpt from Red, White and Royal Blue. We had a lot of fun filming this day, uh, so I, this, this brings back a lot of, of fond memories of the, the back and forth between Henry and Alex, which Taylor and I so loved playing.